Before the show today, we are going to be recognising an unbelievable record achievement. A lifetime achievement in comedy. The recipient of the Lifetime Bottling Award, it's Tottenham Hotspur! Woo! Abby, please come up here, accept this bottle award. Three bottles representing the three goals that Brighton scored. And did say, you always win something in your second season. So here it is, presented to you by Spursy the Seagull. <laughs> After you. It's very entertaining. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> Speech! 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 I'll be honest, I did write something down, but um, <laughs> I don't actually know where to begin. I'd like to thank the Academy for giving me this prestigious, prestigious yeah. award. Um, and thank you everyone for being here today to celebrate such an iconic moment for Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Ooh. I did some reflecting and I thought, <sighs> I thought, how shall we, how shall, how shall we handle yeah. this award? How should we handle today? Mm. And I'll be honest, I thought, why not? We'll just join in with the cooking. You know, let's do that. Attack is the best form of defence, isn't it? If you can't beat him, join him. Absolutely. <laughs> 45 minutes of pure Ange football resulted in another 45 minutes of a slow and painful death. Ooh. It's harsh, harsh. It's late. I am, late. I'm on the floor. My head is absolutely gone. And that second half has left me well and truly deceased. A capitulation of epic magnitude. Spursiness levels have now been elevated. I'll be honest, I'm embarrassed. I'm humiliated. I didn't even want to get up this morning. <laughs> wow. I'm glad you did. It gets like that sometimes. Whatever they smoked at half time should be illegal. And I ask the Met Police <laughs> to please investigate. It's the Sussex Police, it's the Sussex Police, sorry. Destiny, <laughs> oh, Destiny. The bozo gene Ooh. was well and truly activated Ooh. yesterday. Sick. You sucked van der Ven into your vortex. Oh. And if I speak <laughs> on Christian Romero, that going, that, then. I will be in deep trouble. Oh. I won't speak of Timo Werner for the sake of everyone's mental health. <laughs> but despite all of the above, Oh. Winning at Brighton is tough. United couldn't do it, and neither. Oh, the flex. <laughs> and Arsenal couldn't do it at home either. Oh, oh the flex. Oh, this is sad. Though. Maybe the A seagulls tribute. are flying higher than all of us anticipated. Oh, get out of there, <laughs> oh no! Check the table. The run up Play the M1 one. is steeper than I thought. <laughs> 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 but we remain and in. Oh. Oh, controversial. Pause. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Gather yourself. Tears. She could cry. A back line, though, which is in more despair than Flex's hairline. Whoa. It was a comical display. And I will call into account the mentality of the players and the club as a whole, as this seems to be unsalvageable. <laughs> and it's with great sadness that I will take the cooking today. Take it. Hold it. Because as a club, as a team yesterday, in that 45 minutes, they got roasted, smoked, filleted, burnt, mm. toasted. Mm. But enjoy this while you can, guys. Oh, we will. Oh, because no, we shameless are. summers will rise again. <laughs> and I just want to leave you with one final thought. It's winter. Let's go. United are 14th in the league Ooh. and they're 21st Two in the Europa you, League. Two Hold. Yay! Well done, Abby. Take your award. You need to. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime achievement. They say you never comedy. win anything. Well, who's laughing now? <laughs> yes, fantastic. Brilliant. Is, is Absolutely the, is fantastic. The, is the bird going to sit with us as well? The seagull? Uh, no, Spursy the seagull will have to jump back on the train back to Brighton. Uh, he does only have an off-peak oh, train, unfortunately, God. so he does have to get the 243. <laughs> Tell Abby to give us Arsenal stats like she did two weeks ago. Oh, How does it facts. feel there to bottle facts? a two-goal lead? They're just facts. Lose the game. I have no it's just the facts. He's doing the super chats. He's doing the super chats. No, come with truth. He's doing super chats. Stats. I'm just re responding. I'm responding. I'm responding. I'm responding. Two new up. At what point did you go... You know that Roy Hodgson meme where it's like... At what point? Was it the first goal? The second goal? First. First. Because you kind of knew first. What, was, uh, <clears throat> yeah. what was on the horizon. Um, what I will say is I don't think I actually have seen two completely separate 45 minutes in mm. football like I have yesterday. That first half, 
I thought Spurs were brilliant. I mean, Brighton weren't great, but Do I thought not. Spurs were very good. They probably could have been even more clinical. Maybe similar issue at United last week. You know, they had quite a lot of chances and they could have killed that game off in the first half. But that doesn't that does not justify what happened yesterday because if you go in at half time and you're tuning up you're absolutely cruising football was really good really enjoyed watching them mm. great brighton were obviously going to come out and try and put some pressure on in that second half you know that lasted i think what they scored 47 minutes 48 minutes mm. <clears throat> okay so at that point if you've conceded one where is, the, where is the mental side of those players to be like, okay, your doggy's made a mistake there, whatever. Let's just calm, let's calm, let's reset, let's sort ourselves out. But no, they, they didn't do that because there's, maybe there's no leaders. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe there's no one that's going to take accountability. But to make a mistake and then go and capitulate in the way that they did in the space of 10, 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most, mm. is unacceptable. And Andrew's 100% right. That was unacceptable. That is just Spursy to the core. But he does say I want to keep award. it open and, and entertaining. I, I, I understand like, that. But, that is crazy. But, Give but, the but fans. He did. He did. Give them what they want. That, it's that, true that, to his word, mate. He wasn't that, speaking that, about your fans. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to keep it. Yeah, we're we're the team. viewers at home are but, rival fans. But, but, that, that, but that is about. on, for me, <laughs> that's, crazy. that's on the players yesterday. Okay. And I know people will say, no, he doesn't have a plan B, whatever. Okay, well, when, you're, when your whole back line are doing things that are just so stupid and comical and just, there is just no words for it. What's he, what's he meant to do? Take a doggy off after the first mistake? He's not going to take him off after the first mistake, is he? Then Van der Ven gets sucked into that situation. Romero was having a stinker in the first half, but no one will talk about that because we were two nil up. He was, again, like he has been for every other goal this season. He's been out of position, doesn't want to run back, throws his arms up and looks at everyone else. That's meant to be your vice captain. And captain when Son's not there. Can they not Madison. rotate him? Because there's not a track like... Yeah, Dragos there. Yeah, so why, 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 why is he always... Anyone with... that is... Ta- is that Last time he played, he got sent off after six minutes. Probably don't trust him. <clears throat> Let's not talk about so defending, right? We're, Let's not do that. We're talking, we're talk, we're talking about we'll Spurs. We'll we're talking about, we're talking about Spurs. We'll no need to get you. rattled. We'll, we'll get on to We're just talking about Spurs. Dragosin is there, right? And anyone that is saying or still in the belief that Christian Romero is having a good season, you need to wake up because you're not looking at... You're looking at that through totally wrong lens. He's had a terrible, terrible season so far. A doggy who is usually very very good had a very bad game yeah. well a very bad 45 minutes yeah okay and mickey van der Ven, again I have, i'll be honest got sucked into that too like it, 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 it's it's surra- two desperate slide tackles yeah just it was it was desperation bit. and it was like they lost control they lost control mm. of the game and that's because, fast, that's, that's because of a mentality issue it's quick to sort it's because out because of a mentality fast. issue and we can say okay well Ange doesn't have a plan b or what's Ange meant to do clock 9.6 what is Ange meant to do okay you want him to make substitutions earlier fine he bought on sarah and basuma the game was already gone and okay arguably he could have bought them at 65 but then we would still have been three nil down so Sarah and Basuma did nothing, I felt, when they came on. I, I don't think we looked any better, to be honest. I think we remained the same. Mm. Um, is but- there no blame on Ange, though, for sticking with Romero, though? If you, this is what you're asking. Because you're, you're saying it's not on Ange. <laughs> yeah, but then I, I don't, sticking I with don't Romero, yesterday's had a good... loss on Ange, because I think that is a complete mentality thing. I've seen it before with other teams. No, I agree. At, at, at Tottenham, I've seen it when Spurs have done it away at Newcastle, under Pochettino. I've, I've seen it basically in every Spurs team I've ever seen. Mm. Yesterday, though, the, the parallel difference of a 45-minute period is worrying. And I would say I've seen it at times this season where they get in front. I don't know if it's they get confident, overly confident, cocky. I don't know what yeah, it we is. We had this. But, but not Newcastle, for example, that first half we were so dominant. Second half we end up losing the game. Leicester, all of us watched that game. We were so incredibly dominant in that game. Didn't take our chance and ended up drawing. Like mm. there is a pattern, but yesterday was such a capitulation of a lack of mentality, a lack of bottle and just sheer panic and lack of leadership that that has to rest on the players for me that mm. has they have to look at themselves and say that cannot wash with I me I do agree but at the same time before the game he's already told you what he wants which is an but open he, and entertaining he game where he said week. hopefully yeah. he will win but he plays that way every week uh, but they're, every maybe therein week. lies the problem if that so he well, does maybe. have to take no, some blame I hear blame. the players think, cause you're, uh, if it's a percentile what are you out. giving Ange versus the players for blame oh probably on that game I'd probably say 70, 30. Or may, if I'm so right, is there 60, still, 40, 70, Still 30. a third, almost Well, okay, but I will because he's the manager and the yeah. buck will always stop with him. And as I said, I'm not going to say I'm Andrew because I'm not, but I have said many times, I think if he does get sacked, it will be due to the style of play and the lack of results. Yeah. But that performance yesterday screams to me that this is a team that doesn't have a leader or mentality in it. And mm. I have seen that with various Tottenham sides throughout my entire 30-year life. You know, this is a problem that is at Tottenham.